more to this mission than you realize, Captain. Something's not right. I'll explain shortly. All right. I appreciate your patience. I'm what's known as a temporal agent. It's my job to preserve the timeline. You helped me stop one temporal incursion at K-13. There's been another at Babel, and I could use your help with it. Welcome to the temporal ready room. I use it to monitor the timeline. The Nakul have sent agents to a critical point in time. We believe they disrupted the Babel Conference in 2268 aboard the USS Enterprise. I want to send you back there to stop them. You'll be sent back to a point shortly before the conference begins. I'm sending one of our best temporal agents along. I believe you've met. Nice to see you again. It's been some time. For me, at least. For you, I see hardly any time has passed at all. It must be strange to see me looking... Older. Once you're on Enterprise, deal with the Nakul and make sure the conference proceeds as planned. You'll have a temporal transponder, which will allow me to communicate with you and bring you back. You'll also have these bioscanners. They're short range, but will detect Nakul agents nicely. Do the job right, and no one will know we were there. The situation at Babel shouldn't be happening. Something in the past has changed, and not for the better.
Let's begin by using Enterprise's sensors to look for signs of our time-traveling friends. The computer won't have any details on Anakul, so you'll need to recalibrate the sensors manually on the bridge. Oh, and one more item to be aware of. Ensign Pavel Chekhov is currently on duty on the bridge, which is why I will be remaining here out of sight. As much as I would like to visit the bridge again, two of me in the same place would raise questions neither of us wants to answer. Let's get to work. I will check with you again after you are done on the bridge. I haven't worn this uniform for some time. It's a little... snug. Nice work. I'm getting some readings from Deck 11, but I can't pinpoint them. Some sort of interference. We'll need to get close and scan by hand. Start with the mess hall. There are a lot of people coming and going there.
Lorcan, I would speak to you. It does seem unavoidable. How do you vote on the Corridon in mission? Senses are showing that one of the delegates is leaving the lounge. Follow him. He might be trying to slip out before you can get a scan. Is there something I can help you with? I'm well aware of that. I'm weary of listening to the Tellerite ranting at the Vulcan. I'd like to retire to my quarters. Of course. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Looks like they're on the move, though I'm still getting a lot of false readings on the sensors. Let's keep checking the deck. Like the old Russian saying goes, two heads are better than one. Being here takes me back. It was quite a different time for Starfleet. Head back toward the reception. There he is. Wait, that's Ambassador Gav. One down, unlikely more to go. There's nothing we can do for Ambassador Gav, unfortunately. Memory serves, Captain Kirk was attacked next, on Deck 5.
Captain's wound is serious. He'll bleed out if we don't help him. Stabilize him quickly. Dr. McCoy will be here shortly to finish the job. Good. It looks like the captain is stabilized. We need to move. I've detected Nakul technology in engineering. Someone sent a bomb in here. I cannot defuse and keep the mains online at the same time. Wait, Chekhov, is that you? You look older than me, laddie. And you, the last time I saw you was on Darzana Station. Something was dodgy then, and it's more than a wee bit dodgy now. It's complicated, Scotty. We've been sent back in time to keep the Enterprise from being destroyed. Aliens are trying to alter the future of the Federation. There's no time to explain. You have to trust us, old friend. We're here to help. All right, lad. You can start by helping me keep this ship from blowing to pieces. And get rid of that bloody bomb, if you can. They've got power to the number four shield. Not that one. Divert power to the number four shield. Divert power to the number four shield. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Auxiliary power to shields. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Repair teams detect 19. Good work. Now check on that bomb. The captain's ordering me to cut the power? Uh, I see what he's about. We can't disarm this bomb, but we need to get to that Orion ship anyway. We can take it with us. Why not just beam it into space? We can't let that ship be captured. It has... dangerous technology on it. Scotty, I need you to trust me. That ship needs to be destroyed. You can't tell anyone what happened here. It could damage the timeline irreparably. Besides, I'm captain now, so I technically outrank you. All right, lad. I'll take you at your word. Once you're ready, I'll send you and that bomb over.
Good luck to you. Energizing. Now, what's this? The Orions will lock down their ship. We need to override their security systems. to try to attach the bomb to the Orion ship's engine controls. I'll need you to cover me. See if you can hold them at the doorway so they can't shoot me in the back. you out of there in time. You're both valuable agents. Of course, no one will know what you've done today, with the exception of Commander Scott. That being said, this won't be the strangest thing he'll see in his career. Not by a long shot. Indeed. Comes with the job, I'm afraid. In the meantime, I can send you and Captain Chekhov back to your respective timelines when you're ready. That was quite an adventure. I think you have the makings of a fine temporal agent, my friend. As good as it was to see Enterprise again, I have other duties to attend to. We're preparing for a very serious event, the Battle of Procyon V. That conflict will determine the... Ah, but you don't need to worry about that now. Enjoy your time on the frontier of yesteryear, a time that will never come again.
A lot could have gone wrong today. We could have lost critical figures in history. Sarek of Vulcan, James Kirk, and the crew of the Enterprise. The list is long. However, the timeline was preserved, thanks to you and Captain Chekhov. The Babel Conference proceeds as planned, and Korridan is admitted to the Federation. Well done. I'll continue to monitor the timeline for incursions. I hope I can count on you again when the time comes for action. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Things are heating up with the Tholians. Monitor stations are detecting large fleet movements toward Federation space, and they're refusing all of our diplomatic hails. We're doing all we can to prevent a war, but it's not looking good. I want you to join a task force I'm assembling. If this goes south, I want my best people on the front line when it does. Stay safe out there. The Federation shouldn't be having significant issues with the Tholians at this point in time. I've been scanning the timeline and I think I've found the problem. Two years ago, a Tholian colonial fleet was destroyed. The Tholians blamed the Federation, and increasing hostilities have ultimately led us here. This is something I'll need your help to correct. I've pinpointed the incident in question, setting temporal transponder back two years. We need to correct the timeline during the Defiance encounter with the Tholians.
arrived in 2268 and not a moment too soon. The Nakula are clearly out for blood. Tholians are quite xenophobic. They may feel the Federation is part of the problem here. We're being hailed by the Defiant. I'll remind you that our orders forbid us from telling them anything specific about the situation. I recommend deflecting their questions until the situation is resolved. Good to see you. We're in a real tight spot here. The Tholians were taking a serious beating when we reached the system, and the other ships opened fire on us the minute we dropped out of warp. Mind lending us a hand until we figure out what's going on? This, this, was a Tholian colony fleet. See if you can take a little pressure off. We need to firm up our shields. Nothing on these aliens in our computers or why they'd attack the Tholians. 
Or us, for that matter. All right, do what you need to do. We'll talk about all of this when the shooting stops. Deal? I know it doesn't feel great keeping information from the Defiance crew, but believe me, it's for the best. I'll monitor the situation here while you assist the Tholians. Do what you can to save them. Good luck. I've found appropriate transport coordinates on the Tholian flagship. Hopefully you can convince them that we're not at fault here. If the Tholians go to war with the Federation now, it would be devastating on a galactic scale.